Death is like the wind, always by my side. What is up guys, for today's VOD review we are doing something a little bit different, we are reviewing a LCK game. So we haven't done one of these since Worlds, but this one is really spicy. So it's Faker on Yon, and again Zika, which is the world champion, on Kassadin. So this one should be really fucking good. So hope you guys enjoy. So it's Faker Yon versus Zika Kassadin. Interesting, he went fleet into Yon. That is not what I would have expected. What I would expect is Electrocute. Hmm. I'm actually curious how this game goes, because I have not watched it at all yet. I have done some videos on uh, Faker Yun before though, and honestly, it wasn't the best. No flame. Don't. I'm, I'm sorry, I know Faker the GOAT, but it has Yon hasn't really impressed me yet, so let's how this goes. <clears throat> Let me pause and just talk about the comps real fast. Um, so we have Malkai Yon, which is why they picked this. This combo is really good. Um, I like it a lot in solo queue. My favorite jungle combos are Malkai, Lilia, Fiddle. So basically just AP damage that has hard CC is what you want. So anyone out here who does the jungle main, get a AP, yeah, like a Lilia, Fiddle, Malkai. Really good. Because they like to scale, they have a lot of hard CC, and they're the op opposite damage type, so... So Jawani's good too. Right, deep blade, nice. I wish I could see the runes. Maybe they showed it, but I didn't. What I would do is conditioning overgrowth in this lane. That's young. Hopefully they show the mid lane quite a bit. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, he went the exact runes I would do. Nice. What the hell, Cassidin Elise. I mean, I feel like I like T1's comp so much more, no? Seems so much better to me. Nice Q. So what I would do in this lane, every single time against Kasten, you always want to go for a Cheetah Recall. So hopefully we see Faker Cheetah Recall. Looks like he gets the ward. Doesn't look like he's cheatering though. Maybe he's going for like a 4 wave crash. Just a ward on Rap. Okay, so I really don't like how Faker's getting a ward on... Like, look at his ward. It's right on the, um, the camp, but... He's against an Elise, so I'm not really understanding. Elise does not do that camp, ever. You know, like, Elise is like, does every single camp except for Raptors, right? So, very interesting. At least I, I think, unless she does it early. But yeah, as I thought, she would just skip it. So that doesn't show any vision. If he put it further below, he would have actually saw the Elise. I don't really know about that word. I think the Elise is just going in. Figure gets a four. I think it's a four-way crash. I don't really understand what the point of getting a four-way crash over a three-way crash, but interesting. Maybe it's fine. He can't get his recall just because Elise is like doing this cheesy shit. He's so nice. Yon is using his early pry out just to like get Elise out of here, which is really good because Elise needs to find. Early sh so like w they're playing a least casting combo. It sounds so weird to me. Like how is this a casting game? This game looks terrible for casting. A bit confused, for sure. Yeah, it looks like he's doing really well in lane. The thing with this lane though is if you don't cheat her against Cassidy, then his wave is just permanently fine, which feels really awkward in my opinion. But I guess he really just couldn't cheat her. Or then his jungle is kind of doomed. Oh, really good E. Wow. Nice, damn. Dude, Kyrie is so good. Actually, the best support in the world. Guy's cracked out of his mind.
What if Faker just went wits end first item? Nah, wits end first doesn't really work anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, they have triple AP. He should go wits end third, for sure. So it's like, if you don't cheater against the Kasten, you're not really getting an advantage at all against him, which I find really awkward. See, like, they're the same CS, and I was just going to TP back. I think with the cheater, I mean, obviously this is pro play, so I guess it's a bit different, but I feel like Yon didn't really do anything to stop the invade anyway. Like, yeah, he, like, stopped it for a second, but then he just went back mid lane. If it could be cheaters, and then just comes back, then the wave is, like, bouncing back, and then it's, like, really bad for the Kasten, you know? But now they're just like completely even. I don't really like. Oh, I also went TP. I and mean, people don't really go ignite in competitive, I guess. But yeah, if you're going TPing against Kassan, you're pretty much just accepting you're going even, which isn't like terrible. Because even if you go even in this lane, it's still like completely fine for your own. Oh. Ah, uh, Faker's trolling. I feel like there had been a better way to play this. I mean, someone just needs to go in before Faker, I feel. Or he has to go on anyone but the Elise. Because obviously if you go on the Elise and you eat into the Elise, you're just going to eat into the Cocoon, you know? And he gets stunned by Heimer. Yeah, he just loses all of his HP. Feels really bad. He just flashes out. Very... Yeah. I mean, I don't see Faker play this pick, like, ever. Almost always, this pick always goes to Zeus. Which I'm kind of confused why he didn't play it. It's really good into Scion. It's so good into Scion. I mean, I didn't see the draft order, so. Yeah, he's going completely even. I mean, if this game goes late, T1 should just win it anyway, though. So, we'll see. Get the short trade on him. Not only that, but he also allows Yuma to rush the area and then carry out his trade in that case. Of course, if Serafin is looking for the Yuma. I mean, I guess this is just how competitive plays out, you know. We're just used to. I, I'm just used to solo queue, obviously. But like when I'm seeing this, when it's just like even versus even, I, it doesn't really look too good to me. I mean, based on team cons, even if it's even, I feel like it's definitely a T1 favor. Like, Maokai outscales Elise, Jinx outscales Draven, kind of. I mean, I, I just think Draven's broken his book right now. Chep is literally Thanos. To be fair, this game will probably just not be mid gap, and it's just gonna be. I mean, I don't think mid gap is like ever really a thing in competitive. It's usually always bot lane, jungle. Mid lane is just the farm lane. I guess he just needs the TP for the side lanes later on in the game for the game to be playable. But man, not being able to go ignite into Castle just feels so shit. Oh, this is where the TP comes in. Oh, he doesn't have TP. It's like, how did he have to use his TP already? I don't know, man. And he went Vamp Scepter first. Like, he, he can't punch. He, he's just playing to go even, which I think playing to go even is just so bad. I don't like it. I don't like it, boys.
but that's what it means. It's the way we get to know that God is giving into a a real person that prevents the same thing without any help that that may be necessary. Like if I could like what I would do is just go if anything, like maybe sit on a mantle too. Like sit on one single mantle. Because they have so much AP damage. And you're just chilling. You just instantly kill the Draven and then you're invincible. With shield bow. Like shield bow plus mantle. And one shot Draven. That's what I would do in this scenario. What if I grew up and Bork this game? Nah, there's no way. Surely not. Hmm, I'm a little confused. Did they pick... I wonder if they picked Cassidy into Yone? Or Cassidy just like... They, they had to have. There's no way they're blind picking Cassidy. Right, so they probably picked it into Yone, but why would they blind pick Yone too? Maybe if I rewind, we can see the draft at the end. I'm really curious, honestly. Okay, damage? Oh. Oh! Oh, he just has to use Flash. Yeah, again, it's just like... He's kind of using his E in a random spot. So, tell me why he's Eing here. So what, can you just walk in with him? Q. Auto. Just keep walking with him, what? Like, the, he, he can honestly land another Q before he E's. And if he lands another Q and just like, waits for Kassan to R, then he follows with E. And then makes a, uh, lands a massive trade on him, right? I feel like he just ease and eating like right here is just so awkward because like we know that at least is like somewhere bot side. So just putting him at like a sitting duck, you know. Any duck should ult up. Yeah, just like a common mistake, I feel. You can tell like he just is not really comfortable in the pick. Unfortunately. Looks like lose second dragon. I mean, losing two dragons isn't really that big of a deal. Ooh. But at the end of the day, I feel like if you're gonna play or pick Yone into casting like this, I swear you just go ignite and you just pressure him really hard. Because if you have ignite and you just like freeze on him, he can't play the game at all. We're just going strictly even. God damn. That was actually such a good sidestep by uh, Ziga. Fuck. Guy has nerves of steel. But again, why are you rushing Vamp Scepter into Kassadin? Because like, if you have Noon Quiver or Zeal, and he messes up one single time, you can actually all in him full to zero. But not if you go Vamp. Vamp is just so little damage, man. I don't know. Maybe the matchup is just so different and competitive, but... I don't think that's really an excuse. I swear you could just like take over this lane really hard. I it's Rod. Nice. 
I mean, we do have a lot of plating. On him, at least. That's good. Gold is all in T1's favor. <clears throat> I just feel like TP is kind of like, um... Always used, which I think is sometimes even in competitive, like the highest level of play, you don't need to use TP. Like top lane, obviously you need TP perma, but for mid lane, I feel like that you can get away with going ignite or exhaust sometimes. I, I we've seen people do it in the past. I forget who it was, Showmaker. Oh no, I think it was Chovy. Chovy played Yone into Zoe, and he went exhaust. So I probably don't need TP. Mm, I mean, this is just hugging the wall. But I guess he, he had a pink here. How do they not see the Elise? Wow, she goes all the way through the lane like that? I mean, it's pretty five head. Very hard not to die there. Like what I'm just thinking about is like the way I always first cast is just like cheatering on them, right? And just like freezing the lane. But since you if you don't cheat her and you just like always have the lane in the middle, Castin's never in danger. And I feel like that's like the way you have to like first cast it in, right? And if Lisa's just like invading, Valkai can just like go mid, I feel. I just like shut down the cast in or something. I mean Yon didn't even move to help the Okay, anyway, it's all bot lane. So. We just put 1.5. It's gonna be like, you know, it's a competitive game. It's gonna be a lot of nothingness happening, so nothing really to talk about. <clears throat> I think they don't drive the cast in there because they don't really know where Elise is. And Titan STP, so. It's too risky. So I NTPs and then I'll kind of like have to die basically. Dude, there's no fighting. I wanna like slow okay. Think about the normal speed. When well, there's the action. I think there's gonna be action, surely. Okay, we got the Malkai ults. Hmm. This game feels like it should be good. Like they're even at golds. At this time, when you look at the enemy champion, like you look at all the champs, you feel like it should be good for T1. Hmm. <laughs> I 
Do they see, keep trying to steal it with rockets? It just keeps eating without tornado. So you just has to just gonna eat and then just walk away, you know? It's really troll. Okay, back to fast forwarding. Oh my god. Competitive League of Legends. Nothing happens. We're actually like 20 CS behind Cast and Ezion. This feels terrible, man. Ooh. Good ult. God damn, this just feels like the f most free casting I've ever seen. You just chillin'. By the time Faker is going to have Shilbo IE alone, Kassan is going to be level 16. Jesus. Wait, he's actually 16. Oh my god. 23 minutes in, he's going to hit 16. That's crazy. Because Rod of Age is going to give him uh, one level, and he's almost 15. Yep, this is 15, and now he's level 16 while Faker is 14 and doesn't even have IE yet. God damn! Wow. Yeah, he doesn't even have IE yet. Oh, now he does. Okay, we slow down. Just have to give it. Oh, okay, Baker. I'm just doing that because he needs to get Maokai in there. Do they win that coin flip? Oh, they do not. I mean, it's just a doomer. Okay! And another Zanya's. So, it's like, what I really don't like, it, so if you're taking TP into Kassan as Yon, you're basically saying, okay, we're just gonna, like, free farm together and just scale. Especially if we're not even gonna go for any freezes or anything. Like, we just, like, play to, like, bounce waves and, like, get pressure. But, like, if you do that, why are we not playing, like, I, I don't know, man. I just feel like we should have picked something else. Why do you see draft after this? Hopefully we can uh, see it if I go back. But, I mean, yeah, like as you can see, if Kassan and Yon go even together, it's really bad for the Yon. Like, Yon does not scare nearly as hard as Kassan. Just because, like, Rod of Ages gives him an extra whole level, so he's always going to be, like, have the edge up. 
And yeah, I mean, you can't just go even. If you go even in CS against Kasten, it's so bad in levels, experience. You have to like build your lead with Ignite, I feel, to like have pressure in lane. And, like that's like the good the strength of this matchup, I feel. Is that you can just cheat her and then freeze the lane and then Kasten can't play the game. Because once you get six, Kasten can play like every lane, I feel. But yeah, I mean now the game is just over. You can't just be playing like this on Yon. I need to play more Kassin. That champ. Low key, pretty disgusting. Especially in solo queue, so many throws happen. Level 17 with Mountain. What is that, Draven ult? Yeah, damn. Like, just looking at the teams, I, I would swear to god that T1's comp just looks better to me. But I guess not. I don't even know if it's like comp gap. I feel like uh, T1 didn't do anything. They kind of just gave everything and couldn't like team fight ever. It's just surprising. Oh. Okay, the look, and he died instantly. <laughs> it was bad, man. Dude. The one time T1 loses is when they lock in Yon. It's... I don't know, man. Saying Yon... Okay, no, no, no. I don't know what it is. Yon is so misunderstood. I swear to God, people play this champ like it's just like a scaling champ with TP. But I swear to God, it's not like that. You have to play it like Zed. Like, imagine Zed taking teleport. Into Kassadin. So why is Yon taking teleport into Kassadin, you know? Like, that's what I don't get in my mind. It's just really troll. I feel like Faker could've just, like, went Ignite, went man mode, and just... Yeah, I could've actually played... Like, pressured him a lot more. But, yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully we can see the draft. Go back and look at it. So they just blind casted him? They actually just blind casted him. So they had counter. They could pick whatever they want here, and they pick Yone. That's very interesting. I feel like there had to have been a better pick. Like maybe... Well, personally, I would pick Yone and go with Knights. But if you're taking Teleport, I just... I don't think it's good. Like you're not pressuring the Kassadin at all. You're giving him a free lane, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I think Yone's... The best pick here. I just think the way we played it with CP is just not the play. But yeah, I guess Zika just the goat. I mean, he's a world champion. He won worlds. Takes down Faker again. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it, and let me know what other VOD reviews you want me to do in the future. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.